Hello, Matt is back again. Today I'm going to show you some of the ways I use for uh, avoid mosquito bites and avoid mosquito. But let's roll the intro. Ciao! We are Stina and Matti. We run a lifestyle company in the north of Swedish Lapland. For a living, we work as nature guys and dog mushers. This is our life, our dream and our home. You're welcome to follow us on the journey. So welcome, I'm back again and this time I'm out on an island with a with canoe. Today I'm going to show you the four ways I use to not have problem of the mosquito. The first, first thing I do is to dress myself. Um, the clothes should be a little bit fluffy like this, so the mosquito can't bite through. They should not be tight over the shoulder, they should not be tight uh, uh, on the knees or on your butt, because then the mosquito bites through the fabric of your clothes. So, not tight and it must also be a little bit thicker material, so they can't go through it. And like some of the pants I use, they are they are tight and they are uh, thin, but then the fabric is much much more dense So they can't come through it. One more thing. I really love to have is this hoodie Because with this hoodie and with this uh, I Kind of protect my neck and my back head and usually I have a lot of problem that the mosquito bite me in my neck and I really don't like that so I love to have a hoodie. I always have a hoodie. The second way I use for don't, not getting a mosquito bite is different kind of preparation that I put on my skin or on my clothes. That's kind of a uh, different, a lot of different kind of products. And you find a lot of different kind. Uh, this too, or maybe this. Oh, they have something called DEET inside. But you can find them with the citronella and you can find them with a lot of different kind of chemicals inside. When you use DEET, you should be careful to not get it in your eyes. I will show you a picture of what happened with my eye. This is what happened with my eye when, when I got DEET in my eye. I sprayed my face and then I was sweating and it came down into my eye. This kind of spray, like this, you see? That is good if you need um, sun cream, sun protection. Because this you can spray on top of the sun, uh, sun protection. This is more like oil and a lot of people like this oil thing but this oil if you use it on your skin uh, and it's very very sunny it's like <laughs> you get fright you, you get really burned so this oil if you use that directly on the skin when you're out in the sun you will be burned so and I don't really like this oil-based stuff either because when I do things with my cameras I get oily and fat fingers and then when I, I take my binocular or my lenses or my cameras then I have oil all over. <coughs> this spray um, and this spray it's more like uh, you spray your skin and then it's dry. I prefer to use something like this with 20% DEET inside. This one is 40% DEET and I try to avoid to use this on my skin. I have used this one uh, or stronger stuff on my clothes. It's not good to put stuff directly on the skin actually, but 
you had to. This is a different product. It's more like um, a kind of deodorant almost, but it's not a deodorant. You put it on the skin too. I don't know. I have a kind of idea that's totally just my idea. I, I try to change stuff because uh, if I change stuff, I have maybe it's better for for the skin to not have the same shit all the time all the time. So I, 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 I change a lot and they work kind of equal. No one is better or worse than the other one. Up in northern Sweden, now I didn't have it with me, we also use one kind of uh, fat that's called Nordic Summer. Uh, it's with tar inside and uh, I think that's quite good. But that's the same like the oil. You get very fatty and you get burned. Uh, but it smells wonderful. And I try sometimes to use that because that's different stuff in that too. The third thing that I do is to get some kind of smoke. You can use a fire and you make fire and then you take wet moss or something and put on top of the fire to get the smoke. But it's not good to sit in the smoke and, and get all that shit into your lungs. So, but fire and smoke is good. Uh, we also have this kind of machines. This is a thermocell. Uh, in this machine, uh, you have this gas gas tube in here. Um, then you put one blue tablet here, and uh, you start it. This gets warm, and you get the kind of smoke from this that uh, actually kill the mosquito. Uh, now it's no wind here. Now I could use this uh, on behind me because I have the wind from behind and then the mosquito uh, will go away. In the instructions it's written that this take away the mosquito from 20 square meters. Uh, they work. They don't work if it's windy because the smoke from the blue tablets are gone. But otherwise they really work well. You can, there is a clip back here, so you can put it on your backpack or somewhere. I don't use it like that because I think if I walk the smoke just go away. The best way to use it is to put it on the ground, close to your tent, close to where you are, one or two or maybe three of them, if it's not windy and then the mosquito will go away actually. Right now, it start getting mosquitoes here. Uh, I don't use this one. I, I have no, no chemicals on me right now. Uh, the only thing I have is clothes right now, and that's enough. Thing number four, I promise you four thing. Thing number four to avoid mosquito is to pick a place where you have the wind. You should not stay where it's bush uh, when you camp or when you have lunch. Try to pick a place where you get wind, where it's a little bit more dry, then, then you get less mosquito actually just in that area. Just one hour ago I had wind here and not a single mosquito. Now it calmed down and the mosquito come here. So, I repeat, one, good clothes, not tight, thick enough, so they can't bite through it. Two, put stuff on the skin, put stuff on the clothes where they can bite. Try to not put it around your eyes, because that's not so nice. Thing number th three, smoke. You can use a machine like this, a thermocell, or you use a fire. And the mosquito, the smoke from the machine kills the mosquito, and the smoke from the fire just take them away, so they avoid it. Um, number four, try to stay in a wind-exposed place. 
try to don't go into the really bushy terrain try to find a dry place and then you have an area with less mosquito that's all from me today I will come up with a total review of this and I will also show you how to refill this things but that's another film another video so that's all from me today thank you for follow the channel and thank you for watching hope I see you again ciao